As you work in Photoshop, there are several different panels and tools that you'll need to access. While you can keep clicking through individual panels or using the window menu to bring new panels up, there is a better way. Up in the upper right corner is the workspace switcher, and you'll see a variety of workspaces based on the task at hand. For example, if I was going to be doing a lot of type with this document, I could choose typography and this would update my panels. I now have easy access to the character and paragraph panels, as well as the use of styles. You'll see down here that the layers, of course, are always visible, but I can click and access things like styles or swatches for color, or info to see more detail about what I'm working with. The task at hand will drive things, and if you're using Photoshop Extended, you'll find a dedicated workspace for 3D, and in all versions of Photoshop, the Motion workspace will bring up a timeline, which is great for editing video. The task at hand drives what you're doing, so you can choose a workspace and then keep designing. If you start to work and move things around or adjust that workspace, it's very easy to change and get things back. Just choose Reset, and it will put it back to its default starting state. You also have the ability to make a new workspace and give it a name, and then adjust things. This workspace can then also remember custom keyboard shortcuts that you've assigned based to that workspace in particular. This can be really useful if you have a complex task at hand. Another way to access workspaces is under the Windows menu, and you see the exact same commands repeated. So it's up to you how you choose to access workspaces. Workspaces are really useful and can definitely speed things up. I also recommend that you take advantage of keyboard shortcuts, and this can allow you to map the workspaces to individual keys. For example, under the Windows menu, you will see the ability for workspaces. There they are. This gives you the ability to turn off any workspaces you don't want, assign a color, and this can be really useful for their visibility. Under keyboard shortcuts, you also can scroll down and go to workspaces. And you see you can assign a direct shortcut to make it easier to access a particular type of workspace. So there you have it. Make sure you make workspaces part of your normal working conditions.